Act three, scene four of Romeo and Juliet is very brief. Um, we have Romeo. He is leaving Friar Lawrence's cell to go to Juliet's house. Juliet is in her bedroom waiting for Romeo to come. And meanwhile, Lord and Lady Capulet and Paris are talking about the death of Tybalt. They're upset with Romeo. Their daughter is very upset. Juliet is very upset. And we're going to see that they're going to try to plan something to cheer up Juliet. So let's find out what this is using myshakespeare.com. Let's listen along. Things have fallen out, sir, so unluckily that we have had no time to move our daughter. Look you, she loved her kinsman Tybalt dearly, and so did I. Well, we were born to die. Tis very late. She'll not come down tonight. I promise you, but for your company, I would have been abed an hour ago. These times of woe afford no time to woo. Madam, good night. Commend me to your daughter. I will, and know her mind early tomorrow. Tonight she's mewed up to her heaviness. So Lord and Lady Capulet haven't had a chance to talk to Juliet about marrying Paris. Um, right now they know Juliet's up in her bedroom crying. They think she's crying about Tybalt's death, but in reality, she's crying about Romeo's banishment. So Paris is like, okay, you know, we'll we'll figure things out after the funeral. Um, but Lord and Lady Capulet, they do want Juliet to marry Paris. Remember, Paris is very wealthy. He is a count, while Lord and Lady Capulet are also nobility. They're kind of lower down on the scale. And if Juliet marries Paris, it will look even better for their entire family. All right, let's keep listening. Sir Paris, I will make a desperate tender of my child's love. I think she will be ruled in all respects by me. Nay more, I doubt it not. Wife, go you to her ere you go to bed. Acquaint her here of my son Paris's love, and bid her, mark you me, on Wednesday next. But soft, what day is this? Monday, my lord. Okay, so it's Monday. We're going to find out something's going to happen very soon. So remember, it's Monday. Um, Juliet and Romeo just met on Sunday. Monday? Ha, huh. ha. Huh. Well, Wednesday is too soon. A Thursday, let it be. A Thursday, tell her, she shall be married to this noble earl. Okay, so remember Lord Capulet in Act 1 said, you know what, Juliet's too young to marry. She's only 13 years old. Let two more summers go by. So let's wait till she's 15 to get married. And also, I want Juliet to actually love the man that she's going to marry. So Paris, can you get her to fall in love with you? And I also want Juliet's opinion. Capulet has changed his mind at this point. He is going to mandate, he's going to order his daughter to marry Paris on Thursday, okay? Now, mind you, Juliet just got married, so things are going to be really difficult for her at this moment. So we'll see what happens. Will you be ready? Do you like this haste? We'll keep no great ado, a friend or two, for hark you. Tybalt being slain so late, it may be thought we held him carelessly, being our kinsman, if we revel much. Therefore we'll have some half a dozen friends, and there an end. But what say you to Thursday? My lord, I would that Thursday were tomorrow. Well, get you gone. A Thursday be it then. Go you to Juliet ere you go to bed. Prepare her, wife, against this wedding day. Farewell, my lord. Light to my chamber, ho. For me, it is so very late that we may call it early by and by. Good night. Now Lady Capulet is going to go up to Juliet's room to tell her that she will be married to Paris on Thursday. So Julia is in a tough situation here. She's already married to Romeo and she can't be married to two men. All right. So we're going to find out what happens in our next recording. Keep listening. Thank you.